everyone, welcome back to my channel, Makeup Couture by Jetty. Today I did my first collaborated makeup video with a beautiful makeup artist named Pretty Major. We both came up with a summer, fun, orange makeup look. If you would like to see her video, I will put it in the description box below. Please stay tuned for our collaborated video. I've already did my eyebrows to shorten the video and I've already highlighted so I'm going to take my Lane Low Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going to apply that to my lid area and my crease area. And I'm going to take MAC Brown Script as my transition color. I have a sharp edge. So I'm taking my MAC 217 blending brush and I'm going to blend in this Brown Script into my crease as my transition color. Now I'm going to take this other dark brown shade from MAC. I can't think of the name of it, but I will put it in the description box below. I'm going to also add that to my crease area using the same brush. And as I stated before, the clue to the um, clue to blending is overlapping colors. And then I'm going to take Mac Gold Deposit, and I'm going to apply that to my. color is called mandarin as a uh, lip base. to take Red Brick by MAC 
devil. I'm gonna also apply that to Makeup Geek Foil Eyeshadow in Untamed. This is how it looks. I'm going to apply that to the corners of my eye. Blend that out using the same brush. Next, I'm going to moisturize my face. Now that I've moisturized my face, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional Primer. I'm going to apply this to my face. take my prep and prime so I can correct my skin and you guys have seen me do this all the time okay now I'm taking my damp beauty blender I'm gonna blend in this peach luster from MAC correct my face. Next I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. Honestly, I love this L'Oreal Matte Foundation. One thing is that you have to apply it very quick because it will set. And I'm using my Real Techniques um, buffing brush to apply my foundation. And then I'm going to go back over it with my Beauty Blender. Okay, now that my foundation has been applied, I'm going to highlight and contour my face. You guys have seen me highlight and contour my face all the time. So we're going to bypass this method right here. Okay, so now I have highlight and contour and Right now what I'm doing is I'm baking, meaning that I, I have my Prep and Prime um, color correcting loose powder. Powder To me it's kind of better than um, Ben Nye Banana Powder because it's more finely milled. And then I also use my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. And now I'm going to contour the hollows of my cheek. Now I'm going to take my NARS in Casino and go back over that with over that cover girl. Now I'm going to take um, my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish oops, in Darkest Deep and I'm going to buff that into my skin. Oops. 
steel baking. You see, by doing that, it gave me a more defined contour. By me going back over with the NARS Laguna, it gave me a more natural contour. I'm doing such a a bold eye I want to kind of go a little bit of neutral on my cheeks so I'm going to use a little bit of Mac in format and a little bit of plum foolery by Mac so I'm going to use these two colors right here format and plum foolery to my cheeks. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to use MAC and Fascinating to outline my waterline. Then I'm going to take my Makeup Geek uh -oh. foiled eyeshadow. Bottom, bottom part of my eye and I'm going to take my pencil brush and I am going to basically blend out and smoke out my eye. As so. Then I'm going to apply my wing, well, my eyeliner, and I'll be back with the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed our first collaborated makeup video. If you want to see more makeup videos by Makeup Couture by Jetty, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Until then, stay beautiful. Bye.